Before I started working with Paul, I had a lot of internal tension going on and I just felt that something was blocking me and blocking my successes and I wasn't really sure how to jumble it all out. I knew I was looking for somebody to help me push myself past my doubts. Um, I was entering into a new business and um, knew that my critical side was going to be an active part of it. And I wanted to have support managing my mind as I went into a new endeavor. I wanted to get my life coaching business going. I really wanted to get clients and I really wanted to figure that out. And I just felt like I, I couldn't figure it out. I am a very capable person. I've been very successful in my life, but the kind of consistent thing that kept coming up was just the messages in my head. I never imagined that I would pay for a coach that wasn't from my area, didn't look like me, didn't face the same issues that I had as a woman. So for me to hire an older white guy as my, my first coach, it was kind of surprising. But the thing with him, what set him apart from other coaches is that one, I didn't feel like he was trying to sell me. He really was sharing his passion and to help people conquer self-doubt and telling me the ways that he could help me do that. The things that you talked about, about overcoming your inner critic really resonated with me about the struggles that I felt that I had and hadn't really been able to pinpoint. I was specifically looking for an IPEC coach and wanted to use, uh, have that methodology kind of be the backbone of the coaching. I just really like Paul's energy. I feel like you're, it's just like the bright light and very insightful and, and warm. Um, so I think I just enjoy Paul's company and talking to him. I feel like the conversations are very, um, it's almost like this like warm fatherly figure, I guess, in a way. I don't know. I just feel very like uh, safe and able to open up. I could tell that one, he had a genuine interest in helping me get through what I wanted to accomplish. And two, I could tell that he was really confident and had done this before. When you're in that place of stepping out of your own comfort zone, it, that's like when their inner critic comes the most. <laughs> it seems to be the loudest of like, are you sure you want to do this? And this could go really bad and that sort of stuff. And, um, you know, being able to recognize that and make the conscious choice for myself. We worked on several ways to do that. Having those tools in my toolkit, I think changed the way I showed up in my business. I'm not kinder to myself. I'm not really um, listening to that little voice inside my mind. Um, I think Paul really helps you get down to like what the root cause of whatever it is that you're struggling with. Yeah, I guess just helps you see the bigger picture and just helps you gives gives you tools and actual things that you can use to help you move past these blocks that you have. I think the satisfying piece is um, having like work that builds on itself and um, being able to continue, continue to reap the benefits of it. What made me the happiest about working with Paul is that I could really feel the lack of judgment in the space. I was very vulnerable on a lot of our calls and I never felt embarrassed or worried or judged. And I also never felt that he got stuck with my problems but I knew that he had a deep knowledge that what I was sharing wasn't completely crazy because he's probably heard it a hundred times before, um, but he didn't make me feel that way. I just felt supported and um, that I was in a safe space. We did the, even did the ELI at the end and were able to compare um, the results over time and you know that was a really nice comparison as well and kind of validation of the impact that our work together did have i just feel a lot more ease now and i can't even there's no money that you could put on you know feel from going from feeling anxious and, and worried all the time to just like ah you know 
I have more peace and ease and, and things are easier and fun. And I think, I don't think you can put a price on that. And I felt confident and co comfortable that it would be a good journey with him. And it absolutely was.